Hello everyone, this is Tina with Tiaz's Treasures and today I have for you the Spellbinders December 2021 kit, Beauty is Everywhere. Now this is my throwback Thursday and today we are doing Spellbinders. So we've got our little dies. I went ahead and I cut out everything in the dies. So we got the butterfly, a couple of florals, a border die here. We've got some die cuts, some nice little sequins in pink and copper. It looks like a rose gold. A few frames. We've got our pattern paper, which I'm not going to go through all of it. A stamp set that I have not used, so I'm thinking I'm going to try to use this. Uh, we have some uh, dimensional die cuts here. We've got some really pretty um, sparkly butterflies. And what's left of the pattern paper, I actually have a, well, I had a full sheet of pink and green. I cut them down, but I have a full sheet of orange, and it looks like manila and white. And I still have some of this beautiful foiled gold, foil, well, it's foiled, I think it's foiled gold, but it's a, it's a card stock, but it acts more like foil than paper. It's just wonderful. So anyway, um, let me get some card bases. I still actually have a box of Spellbinders um, card bases. So I'm gonna go ahead and use them and let's make some cards or two or three. Don't know how many yet. Okie dokie. So I have got some cards that we are going to make. We're gonna start with this one here. I don't know if uh, nobody wants to see a series like this because um, my first video went over like a lead balloon, just, you know, but I'm going to persevere. Maybe it was Hero Arts, maybe it was the thumbnail, maybe whatever. At any rate, um, this is giving me something to do, so I'm going to do it. I have a lot of card kits that I would like to revisit. And I'm hoping that some of you might want to revisit them as well. And, you know, maybe Spellbinders is a little bit more popular. So I've got this piece of pattern paper. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that down on the card base. Hope for the best. Let's see. Do I have this? Yep, I have it the right way. Now these Spellbinders card bases are textured. They've got a nice linen texture, but they are kind of lightweight. So I know a lot of people, when they used to get the Spellbinders card kits, would use their own card bases, which I've done on occasion. But I just have so many of these that I'm like, oh, I might as well use it. And this, anyway, I don't think I said but this is going to be a shaker card. So I took this frame that came in the kit and I put a piece of acetate back here. Now it's gonna be a thin one, but we're gonna make it a shaker card nonetheless. So um, let's go ahead and take some of my sequins and we're gonna put some in the middle there. And yeah, I've got these cards pretty much ready to go, so you don't have to watch me slicing or dicing or anything else like that. And this one, I do have a lot of uh, foam tape. These are those Doris foam strips that I have on the back. So I've got them. And it's just, uh, it actually some, uh, I think Simon Says Stamp acetate. I happen to have a piece that was almost the perfect size for this. So it's what I used. And as I'm ripping these off, do I have it off everywhere? And I still have to touch. Get a touch to make sure it's like, yeah, yeah, you got it off everywhere. Let's put that right uh, look at that, I'm magic. I'm making the sequence jump. It's okay, except for these two that are like the wrong way. Let's get that down. There we 
go. I don't know how straight this is, but I've got some stuck in the middle there. Oh, there we go. I've got to move all moving. And uh, I want to take this bird here and make that look like it's coming out there. I don't know. Of course, uh, maybe I should put it all in the window because it, they're two different levels. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. That way I don't have to like try to figure out um, different foam tapes. You know, some are, have more dimension than others. I put it all on the acetate, even though it's going to hide some of our shaker window. At least then um, it's all one level. Get that looks like it's coming out there, and you're still going to see them. I mean, how can you not? And then we've got these raised up as well. I've got like foam tape on the back of the, my little sentiment, which is. Uh, with love forever. I thought that was kind of sweet. And thought about putting it up here, but then I decided we have space down there. We're just going to do this. And yeah, I kind of like the way that looks right like that. Now, if I was smart, I could put a few sequins around here. But I think, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should? Or do you think it's fine the way it is? Just them right there. I don't know where, if I saying, oh yeah, I put my sequence off to the side. I guess we can put a few or at least see what it looks like, right? I just need to find a little tray. So what do you think? Should we put a few of these here and there? I mean, or should we just like leave well enough alone? Hmm. Well, I don't think it hurts anything to put them. So why not? I mean, I'm always so imaginative to where I stick them too. If you have problems putting your little uh, sequins or enamel dots or anything down on your cards, let me know. It'd be nice to know. I'm not the only one who struggles with placement. You know, it'd be nice to know that there are others of us out there. So, look at this. Let's move this out of the way. I had to just check right now to make sure I had turned my camera on because it wouldn't have surprised me if I forgot to. <laughs> and, and, you know, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I just did this. You didn't get to see any of it, but it is what I did. So for the second card here, I've got some ephemera. I took out of, you know, the little die cut bag. I've got two pieces of pattern paper that I actually glued together and then I've got a die cut I took that little border die cut and I put it right down the middle right here I actually got that idea from the um, inspiration sheet on the card so this is going to be you know similar but I've got few other things I'm doing. I got my little bow and a little bird instead. I mean, come on, you can't get more inspiration-y than that, though. So that's where my inspiration for this came from. And again, I've got the Spellbinders card base. And let's uh, go back to my glue. So I've got these little glue bottles here I'm using. And this one happens to have craft or art glitter glue in it. Excuse me, I almost thought it was craft tacky glue. But I've got one that's got Gina K glue in it. And I was messing around. I think I was gluing this down. And when I grabbed the bottle of Gina K and took the pin out, the whole metal thing came out. I'm like, really? You gotta be kidding me. So of course I stuck the metal thing back in there. And I just, uh, hoping for the best that it doesn't get stuck again. 
and I'll come out and we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm like, I didn't even know that was possible. So it's possible and now you know. I'm like, either that or just I have really bad luck. One of the two. Let's get this glued down. I do think that's pretty. I happen to have these scraps of cardstock or pattern paper um, from when I used the kit the first time. I almost pulled out a kit that I never used. Um, I think it had like telephone dies and things, but I decided that I would use um, a kit that I really liked first as opposed to one that I never even got around to using the first time I, I messed with it. It was like a kit from 2019. I thought that might be a little bit too long ago and I might not have anybody who wants to see that. So anyway, with, yeah, nobody watching my first video, I thought that I would um, redo the thumbnail this time, and we'll see if maybe if I just put the Spellbinders throwback, you know, whatever kit this was, uh, September, I think, 20, 2020, maybe. I think I told you in the beginning it was uh, December 2021, Beauty is Everywhere. So maybe if I put that down in the thumbnail, it might interest more of my, my viewers. Heck, I even had one of my subscribers uh, quit subscribing after I dropped the Hero Arts Throwback Thursday video. I'm like, really? You disliked it that much? Oh, well. My luck, right? And I appreciate all of you who are watching this and all of you who watched the first video I did of this. Or maybe I just dropped it at a very bad time. I have no idea. Maybe the algorithm just really, really hates me. So let's put this little birdie right down there on the thankful. I love birds. You know, I, bird dies, bird stamps. I think they're all pretty awesome. I've got some bird dies from Spellbinders that I don't get to use enough. It's not Spellbinders, as Simon says, that I don't get to use enough of. I might even use, like, do a Throwdown Thursday with just some older dies. That might be fun. I think I'm going to do, I don't know. I have a, something I might do for Easter coming up, too. Well, here, the newest Hero Arts uh, kit should be coming soon. So I'm going to have to do that one. And I'm just like rattling on here. So anyway, this is card number two. Just thankful. That's fun. Little bird. Little nice gold. Lovely little sparkle on this bow. I love it. So now we are on card four. Card four, I've got... Uh, the stamp. I am going to stamp this. I've got the die cuts. I the little dies that I did to show you that we're going to use. This one's got gold little overlay on the wings. We can put a little dimension. I've got a dimensional die cut that came in the kit. And and I think this says love. So we're going to stamp that right here in the upper corner. We'll do that first. Uh, where's my Misty? Did I lose my Misty? Uh, my Misty is hiding. There it is. Uh, that, that wasn't as bad as it sounded, trust me. <laughs> oh, I still have a stamp in here from... Oh, that's from Hero Arts. Oh my gosh. That's from last week's Throwdown thir or, uh, Thursday. Th th throwback Thursday. I can't even remember the name of my own series. I didn't know that was in there. Huh? I'm going to have to clean that off and put that away. Okay, so this one I will remember to remove. Let's uh, go ahead and put that. And we're going to stamp this. I think I'll grab some Versa, um, Versa Fine. Let me 
crazy. My craft room is so small. I think oh, just about everything is within reaching distance. And let's just put that in that corner. And hope I don't shake the camera too much. I think maybe when I go the other way, right to left. And where there is love, there is life. That's nice, nice, nice. Let's take that out. And go ahead and clean off that. While I'm thinking of it, so we don't have any more debacles where I pull out my Misty and I have like stamps that have been in there for over a week. Uh, come on, I'm not the only one who's done that, admit it. We get to, we'll put it away while we're thinking about it, too. All so, by time this airs, um, let's see, Valentine's Day. Well, I think it'll air on Valentine's Day. Is that the 13th? Or is, it, is it Wednesday, the 9th? Um, hmm, now I'm confused. The 10th will be Saturday. 11, 12, 13, 14, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Huh. Well, either way, it's either Valentine's Day or the day after. I've got a calendar right here, for God's sake. And I still have it on January. As you see me stretching over, trying to grab this off. And Valentine's Day is Wednesday. This is coming out Thursday. I hope you all had a fantastic Valentine's Day then. <laughs> um, I stayed home. I know I'm going to stay home. I have no plans for Valentine's Day. I've got a bunch of punchkis. I'm picking up Tuesday. And I will be um, in a sugar coma, hopefully, on Valentine's Day from the apricot punchkis and the different flavors that I plan to be eating love me a good jelly donut. Now they say that jelly donuts and punch keys are two different things, but I just have not found that to be true yet. If somebody wants to give me a punch key, like a, a cherry punch key and a cherry jelly donut side by side and prove to me they're two different things, I mean, I'd be happy to eat them and find out. But as of yet, I have not found that to be the case. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to put like that there. And I want a little, little butterfly up in this corner with some little florals, you know, kind of in this area here. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna stick the florals down yet, but I think we'll stick our bigger pieces on first. And this will just stick up this guy here, our, our carnation. We got the beauty is everywhere, which I like too. I mean, we could put the beauty is everywhere on straight. I mean, I could, but I'm going to leave it because I don't want to tear the paper. Because I don't mind it being kind of cockeyed. And I said I was going to do the bigger elements first, but I think I fibbed. Let's go ahead and put our little florals down. And which way? We're going to put that down this way. Get my little greenery. Do I want it up or down? I don't think it matters too much which way I put it. I'm going to stick it. Um, gosh. Do I want it there? Well, it's glued down there now. Whether you wanted it there or not, we're going to put you right. I just snacked a little leaf off. I'm going to have to stick that back under there. Because you're going to go right here. Yeah, let's do that. And actually, it might be a good thing that I knock this little leaf off. Because I might be able to find a better spot to put it. Because where it was wasn't working too well. And... Let's get some tweezers, some reverse tweezers, and see if we can figure out a spot to put this little leaf. Do that. Or 
back in this way. Kind of like that. I don't know. I'm like loosening it. How about, and I'm ending up right back kind of where it was. Okay, but that looks best. And we're gonna glue our butterfly down. Just the back of it. Put this right there at that angle. Press this down. And I love this, the way the butterfly breaks the plane of the uh, blue card stock. And this is card number three. Yay. So onward now to the last card. I'm only doing four. And this is going to be a butterfly card. I've got orange card stock and some pattern paper. And I'm going to be putting these butterflies all over here. Of course, and I've got our sentiment. There is simply nothing better. And really, there is nothing better than butterflies. Do you like the way I've got this piece of paper? And they're the same on both sides, but for whatever reason, I still turn it over to put the glue on. When I do things like that, I'm like, well, that was a smart move. So anyway, if you've made it this far and you're still with me, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you. Um, I love all my subscribers. I love all my, uh, all the people who watch me. I thank you very much. Make sure this is opening the right way. Not that it would matter with this piece, but it will matter with everything else. Get that down. And here's our pattern paper. This is the one we gotta be careful with the glue because we don't want any of the uh, glue, um, our rivers of glue showing through the other side. Like sometimes you can tell where you glued if you've got a real thick glue and a real thin piece of pattern paper, that could be bad. And I've seen it in the past with some of the Spellbinders paper because that is a paper. There is nothing card stocky about it. It's about as thin as a piece of notebook paper, but it is pretty and it's just one-sided. It's got really pretty colors and pretty patterns. And so let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna put our butterflies. And I think we might not even be able to fit them all on here, but uh, I've got them popping off this plastic. I want to use these um, these big ones. I just and this little one that kind of matches the color. We got to put got to put this up there. Could go that way. It's going to look better this way. In the same way that one was going, and we do have room for this little yellow guy. So we're going to put him in the same direction as the first butterfly. And then we can glue our sentiment. There's nothing better. And these butterflies are just so sparkly and pretty. I'm almost sad that I used them all up. Actually, I think I still might have two blue butterflies left. They just blue butterflies would not look any good on this um, on this particular card because it is the peaches and pinks and the yellow works though with the orange. We've got our sentiment going off the plane of the card stock, but it works. Let me throw away uh, some of this acetate that I have all over. So this was card number four. Now let's revisit all the cards I did today. Make sure you're seeing them. We have card number one. Let me know which one's your favorite. 
or if you like any of them or don't like any of them. I'd be curious to know. Card two with the bird. We've got card three with the die cut butterfly and I like the carnation with little sparkles. And lastly, card number four with all these beautiful dimensional sparkly butterflies. And that's going to be it for now. So thank you so much and bye-bye for now, everybody.